Okay, so I've been watching this carton for an hour and I still don't get what you see in those car cartons or cartoons or... Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about more cartoon inspired video games for the Sony PSP. Justice League Heroes is similar to Marvel Ultimate Alliance on the PSP, but you're better off sticking to Ultimate Alliance, because Justice League, even if it has a similar gameplay formula, it's weaker than the Marvel game. I detail more about the game in the old DC games for PSP video, but essentially this is all you need to know about the game. It's a brawler similar to Marvel Ultimate Alliance that lacks the depth or the variety needed to be that great. It still has 15 playable characters and boss fights and each character has unique moves, so if you liked Ultimate Alliance, it's worth checking the game out. But don't expect the game to be at the same scale as Marvel Ultimate Alliance. TMNT is truly a game for little kids, and by little kids I mean toddlers. The whole game feels like an interactive cutscene. What you will mostly do in the game is press the button shown on screen. And when you don't do that, the game is very obvious. And when you finally get one of the rare moments where you fight, the battle controls are so horrible that you prefer the interactive cutscenes over this mess. And if you decide to play the game with a friend, you get a special minigame where you race. But I recommend you to stay away from the game. You can barely call it a game. It's more than a visual novel, that's for sure, and more action-packed than a visual novel, but the game still doesn't feel like a true game. I mean, you press the button shown on the screen for most of the time. I recommend you to avoid the game, it's not worth your time, in my opinion. Next up are the Spongebob games. I already made a review of these two games and the PSP has two Spongebob games, the Yellow Avenger and Truth or Square. Yellow Avenger is this 2D 3D game that has free roam and Truth or Square has linear levels but is a much more fun experience overall. And the Secret Saturdays Beasts of the Fifth Sun is on paper the usual tie-in game. But the difference is that even if the game's gameplay formula is super stereotypical, the execution is pretty okay. I mean, considering the time game standards. In this game you platform and brawl. The platforming part is okay, as I said, but the brawling part isn't. You get into a fixed 3D arena and button mesh. And by button mesh, I mean you really repeatedly press the same button until all the enemies are down. I guess the game will appeal only to fans, because for everyone else the game is too boring and generic to enjoy playing it. Even if I have to admit that the platforming part of this game is pretty unique and creative. For a tiny game, the game is okay, because tiny games usually are bad, and this one is more on the okay side than the bad side of time games. But for a normal game standard, it's pretty weak. <laughs> 